All right guys, how's it going there? This is Kenneth Moore here. And in this Blender tutorial, we're gonna be looking at the user interface. So let's begin. All right, so here we are in Blender and this is the screen that's gonna pop up when you first load the program. And this is something known as the splash screen. Now what we have here on the splash screen is that we have all of the different uh, presets that we can open up with Blender. So if we're doing something with uh, 2D animation, uh, we could open up this uh, preset here. Or if we're doing something with VFX, for example, we have this. And then we have our recent files. So the recent files that we've opened, and then you have some information down here as well. If you wanna open up a different file off your uh, computer, you can do that here. All right, now up here, we have the version of Blender that we're using, so 3.4.1. Now, if you don't wanna open up any of these files and you don't want anything to do with that, you can just um, click off right here and it gives you um, just a regular Blend file, uh, the general. And if you ever wanna go back to that splash screen, just go up here to this icon, the Blender icon, click on this, splash screen, and then you're back. All right, now in Blender, uh, you will see that it's divided up into different panels. So right here, we're in the 3D viewport where we're gonna be doing a lot of our modeling. And then right here, we have our different properties panel, which gives us the properties uh, with our objects. And then we have our outliers panel, which shows us everything that is inside of our scene. And then down here, we have a timeline panel, which is used for animation. All right. And you can actually change what is in these panels. So for example, if I was to say, go up here and I was to select something known as the editor type, you will see that I can change it to uh, any type of uh, editor that I want. So I could select this image editor and it would bring up a different editor right here for me to work in. Or if I wanted to say, make this the timeline, I could do that as well. And right here as well, we have different uh, shortcuts if we wanna jump in between editors. So uh, the 3D viewport is Shift F5. Uh, if I didn't wanna click on this, I could simply just click on the panel that I want, press Shift F5, and it brings me back. Or I could have just um, clicked right here, and I'm back. All right, now in our editors, you will notice as well that on the top of them, we have different um, toolbars. So this one has a toolbar right here. Uh, the timeline has a toolbar right here with tools. You have tools in here like a search bar and then up here as well. And you can actually uh, move these by uh, middle clicking and dragging. So if I was to say, drag this all over, you would notice that some of it is now being covered and I don't see it all. But if I middle click and drag on it, now I can actually move my toolbar. So that's really handy. And the same concept works in the other panels as well. So I'll just show you really fast. Very good. Set that back. Now we also have our side toolbars as well. Um, right here in the 3D viewport, you have a visible toolbar right here with different tools. And then there's actually a hidden one as well. And it's right over here. And it's this uh, one with the arrow. If I click on it, it brings it up like that. And if I wanna get rid of it, you just click and drag off and then it's gone. And the shortcut for this as well is just uh, N and it pops it up and pops it back in. And the different panels can have these uh, side toolbars as well. Sometimes they are hidden like in the um, timeline down here like that. I'll click and drag to bring it back in. And if you're looking for a hidden toolbar, uh, just look for these arrows right here. So click to bring it back in. You click right here and then drag it off like that. All right. Now over here in the properties, uh, we have different options as well that we can uh, mess around with. If you open up your panels, um, there's just a lot of different uh, tools that we have. And we'll be going through more of this as well as we continue in our videos. But this video was really just to give us a good introduction to the interface uh, in Blender right here. So we hope that this video gave you a better understanding of the interface in Blender. We're going to be diving into this program deeper and deeper in future videos. But uh, we just hope this gave you that good introduction. Now, if you like this video and you want to learn more, 
be sure to subscribe below and to click on the bell and we will see you guys in the next one until next time